Hi there, Signs of Gemini. This is Kim here to do your next 48-hour reading, and I hope you're doing really good. We are just going to pull from some random decks. You know what? Let's start with the good tarot. Let's start with that, and um, let's see what we get. All right. So, messages from the good tarot. For our dear signs of Gemini, see how you're doing. Let's go ahead and light a little bit of sage so we can clear this energy. I have a hard time lighting it from these. I don't want to make the candle go out. energy clearing the energy okay all right so <laughs> messages for Gemini from the good tarot and thank you for coming please like and subscribe if you do like it I appreciate all of you and your support very much Good tarot. Uh, instructions are to take these upright in the deck. So that's how we're going to read it. The two of water. Nice. I love that. It's like um, those uh, fancy fin goldfish is what it looks like. Or koi. I can't really tell. But they're beautiful. And the two of water is really nice because that is about partnerships. It's about, well, it's It's also like my true love card with the two of water. Um Answering the call number 20. Well, there you go. 2-2. Two, two. So, this is an announcement of some kind. It's probably a wedding or a pregnancy or something like, I don't know, big, big. It is a big announcement. Yeah, it's something that you have wanted to happen for quite a while. I'm going to put that magician right there because, you know... That's what it's about. What can you create? And everything that you can create, also knowing that it will be a huge success with the Four of Wands. There's no doubt about it. So let's get into it. And we're going to use some uh, other tarot here to clarify. All right. So... Spirit guides, angels, tell us what is up with this um, announcement. Like, what does that, or who does that pertain to for all the signs of Gemini, please? Next 48 hours. So, these signs so far, um, really, there's there's no court cards. So, I really can't, I really can't get anything from that. I do know there's a celebration, though. There's a celebration. Let's see what else. Well, that's nice. Okay, the Ace of Swords energy. The Four of Swords in reverse. Okay. What else? What else here, Spirit? Ooh. The world as a completion. Okay. Ooh, this is heavy energy. You have um, already some three pretty major, major arcanas, right? So you're looking for truth or clarity. It's going to help you win a battle or a victory after just kind of sitting still for quite some time. The main issue is that you just don't want to fight or argue. You don't want really anybody fighting. So it's kind of like you're the peacekeeper energy. No movement is also a big issue. You have two cards in a row now that are indicating no movement or slow movement. Little to none, but let's see what else. Oh, another judgment card. So there is another judgment, 2020. Um, first aid assist from your spirit team is what I like to say. Even when it feels as though sometimes it's hard to get moving or like other people might not have your back. It's like still pursuing 
um, and doing you. So still doing you and doing that marvelous, marvelously because you're Gemini's. You're social. Yeah. And you understand that there's always hidden blessings. That's what keeps Gemini social. Because they always know that no matter what isn't seen or revealed, that it's always going to be a, an okay thing because they're the magician. And that's what you are. Wow. Um, so far, okay, so we do have um, Aquarius energy. You could have um, Sagittarius energy a few times here now. Scorpio, Taurus, and Leo, and then we don't want to forget Pisces energy too. Whoa. Or Taurus. You have all the signs basically. <laughs> the King of Pentacle in the reverse. And it might be talking about in general when businesses don't really do that great. It's about pulling in the extra effort here. Um, and it's about really focusing on what your dreams, goals, and aspirations are. The Page of Wands energy is like there's good news right around the corner. That's nice. That's really nice. Yeah, because you're just not quitting. Perseverance and courage, never um, really letting up there. Never letting up. Whoa. Okay, I have support. There's always help around when you ask. It can be found. What else, Gemini? I have belief. Magic is where you believe, so dream big things you can achieve. And peace, friends and family and those who care. Peace is yours today to share, and sunrise is on the bottom. Every sunrise sings a song. Don't worry, be happy, just sing along. Nice. All right, you know what would go the colors a lot better too. The shaman's dream. So let's pull from the shaman's dream and then we'll pull um, an angel number message too. You know what? Let's shuffle. Ooh. Have fortune's will, luck, and right timing. 23. That's the new adventure coming in it is not just luck it's not just fate it's not just right timing it was destined to be something beautiful great and magnificent like you herald or change horseman okay what else for gemini uh, couple more i have drifter experiencing life as it comes like the captain there's the ship and 36 lost in space needing direction so this could be about when your spirit team comes in to assist you right be taking the guidance and following the good news because there's definitely good news there yeah it might be like a balancing act but there is good news nonetheless Okay, so we're going to pull from the Angel Number Messages deck. This one I got from Etsy. That was a good tarot. Um, Moonology Manifestation deck, too. I have Tactful, 26. Six six six. I am centered. A wake up call for you to re-examine your current situation and change the direction of your thoughts so you can raise your vibration to a more positive frequency. I am centered. And I have twenty nine. You are highly intuitive and creative. Your mind thinks in pictures, and you seem to draw information out from the sky. <laughs> Powerful drive to know the oneness of all things. This might be about that commitment or announcement or wedding or some kind of thing tying everything together. So zero, there is no beginning and no end. 
all is infinite and it is time to develop your spiritual side. You are gaining new sight and understanding of both godly and earthly things. I am limitless. Also, 26, I am tactful. You have a desire to succeed. You will feel most accomplished when your work benefits others. Your intuitive awareness of what people want allows you to come up with a variety of solutions or innovative solutions, not just a variety, but innovative, which is like new and inventive um, solutions here. And it says, I am tactful, 26. Tactful, courteous. Whoa. And there you go. Creativity. There are ways of dealing with this situation without giving away your power. Think of creative methods in which you can be heard and maintain your dignity. Also resilient. Someone is protecting you from the truth because they are worried about your response. It is not their decision to make. You are tougher than they think. Um, daring. I have find your voice and use it nice and loud. Even if it makes you feel uncomfortable, if you don't use it now, nothing will change. Okay, and then I'm just going to pull out of curiosity because this deck, ooh, we're in a Kipler deck, Kipler fortune telling deck. On the good news card, too, sudden wealth, number 11. Nice. Bottom of the deck, seriously, guys, great fortune on the bottom of the deck, 26. Oh my gosh. So yeah, 2611, you have great fortune. You have sudden wealth. Um, and you have a new turn of events here. So that's really great. Just remember to keep your thoughts uh, balanced and um, hang in there and know that you're, you know, that main manifester that can make things happen. Of course, the magician energy. And good partnerships, too, to look forward to. Next 48-hour, join me for the next 48-hour after this one. Sending you love and light. Thanks, Gemini. Bye-bye.